this lesson we're going to talk a little bit about technique and playing single notes on the guitar. Um, when you first start the guitar, the first problem you encounter is that your fingers aren't used to working independently. They're normally working as a group, so we need to retrain them and get them to work independently of each other. That's called dexterity. So we just need to do a little bit of work on it and get our fingers working independently. So I'm going to give you some exercises here and I'm going to give you some um, good um, methods for, for improving your, your technique. Um, I'm just going to give you some exercises to do um, and I'll make a few pointers as I'm, I'm going. Once again, this idea of economy of movement comes into play here. You should always be thinking about this. What we're always trying to do when we're playing the guitar is move as little as possible. The less movement we've got, the less things that can go wrong and the quicker we'll be able to do it. So any non-essential movement we need to cut out is keep the movement down to a bare minimum. So what we're doing is we're just going to practice on the thinnest string, which is down the bottom here. So we're just, just flicking that to three, four. Okay, and then this hand Paying attention to your hand being in the right position, <coughs> my thumbs up so near the top of the guitar and my <coughs> first fingers in the first fret here. So all we're going to be doing is <coughs> plucking the string with no fingers on it and then so we're just changing the sound so it's Now we're going to do that with the second finger, so it's open and then now we're going to do it with the third finger. Now with the pinky, so your pinky is really weak, we don't use our pinky for anything, so this will be the hardest one, which is why I've left it to the end. I always try and do the, the hardest things at the end, so your pinky, just, so you might have to push it down a little bit harder with your pinky, might be a bit um, strenuous, because you don't use your pinky for anything. So you also notice with the pinky, I did it a bit more slowly, less power in our pinky so just take your time um, with that. So all we're doing here is we're just trying to get your fingers working independently. Just working <coughs> working individually is really important and something that, that we don't do in many other things in our life. So it's the first sort of skill we've got to to learn when we're playing the guitar. Well, our fingers working independently is really important. So just applying um, the idea of moving as little as possible when you're doing this, never moving too much, always keeping um, the movement down to an absolute minimum, never any extra movement, don't want to see you Just very shallow, small movements. In both hands, just keep the movement down to an absolute minimum, no big jumps, always very shallow movements. So, um, another couple of things when you're doing this, just make sure you're pushing down hard enough on the fret so that the, the note sounds properly. I want to hear, if you hear that noise, if, if, if it buzzes, just means you're in the wrong place in the fret or you're not pushing down hard enough. So it's very easy to sort those problems out, just push down a little bit harder. Okay, so the exercise that I gave you is just, it's just one finger. Once again, I'm always trying to start you off in the, the most basic point so that you can get that right and then we can move on quickly. Always thinking about um, the easiest ways to do things and starting at a very simple point. So once you've got the hang of that,
just make up little exercises for yourself. I'll give you some ideas. So you do two of each note. So open one, open one, change, open two. Moving along, you can do like four of each note, so we'll be counting to eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Change one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Change one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Change. Okay, so I did that much more quickly than you would at the start, just to save time on, on the video, um, take less time to upload to, to YouTube. Um, but when you're doing it, always do it really slowly and speed it up. So another idea for an exercise would just be... And then change. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So you're just doing <coughs> two notes per. Again, just do it really slowly to start with. And then what I want you to do after you've managed that is just do it in different strings. Do all the exercises just the same on all the strings. And one thing that I want to explain at this point, which is um, something that nobody really talks about, um, when you're playing the guitar down the bottom, your thumb's sort of up high. But when you're playing the guitar at the top, you have to roll your hand down. So you notice when I, if I'm playing the guitar, As I come up to the thickest strings, my thumb disappears. So when I'm playing down the bottom, when I come down, you can't see my thumb. So as you come up the guitar, your thumb sort of rolls down the rolls down the back of the, the neck. So it just sort of slides down. Um, so as I come up the guitar, my thumb goes down. So when you're playing up here, so if you're going... Your thumb's down a bit lower when you're playing down there. Thumb's up high. When you're playing in the middle, your thumb's... Your thumb's down. So you just roll your thumb down the back of the guitar to where it, it feels comfortable. So this lesson is on um, technique. You're just trying to get your fingers to work independently. We're also trying to strengthen your fingers up um, a little bit. So just take a little bit of time on this lesson. I would recommend um, doing this lesson maybe every day um, just for a little while. Before you start practicing something else just go through this. It's really good to, to get your fingers warmed up um, and um, just one point I didn't mention, once again, as with the chords, when you're changing a position or changing a shape, which is, that's a shape change. I'm always thinking ahead, in my mind I'm thinking, so I'm doing this one, so I'm doing it, and then I'm changing, I'm thinking ahead. And I'm trying to stay really relaxed, and I'm not panicking about what's coming up, I'm just... Um, it's so important to have a good state of mind when you're practicing, just be nice and calm and relaxed and that's actually easier when you're doing it on the internet than it is when you're, you're doing it with a, a guitar teacher. I found sometimes people got a bit nervous during lessons and it stopped them um, getting the most out of the lesson. So in one aspect you don't have that with a, a video lesson um, which is good. So on this lesson we're just practicing bit of technique and as I was saying um, try and do this lesson maybe before you start something more complicated I still do these these exercises just to get warmed up and um, I find it amazing that even when I start playing the guitar in the morning it takes me a little while to get going you spend about five minutes thinking that you've forgotten how to do it um, but very quickly all your, your skills come back and they improve very quickly um, so a little warm up is a good idea and just try and get into the habit of doing these exercises just as often as you can have your guitar lying about um, just pick it up and do a little bit here and there it's a good idea so this lesson's on technique just very basic technique but 
try and get the technique right and there's some lessons below that expand on this lesson. So lesson on technique.